Hi everyone, this is Fizz from Geekar and in this video I'm going to show you how to use the .NET Core command line interface tool to create a new .NET Core application, add some NuGet packages in it, restore the packages, build the project, run the project and so on and so forth. So the .NET Core command line interface is a cross-platform toolchain for developing .NET Core applications uh, in any platform ranging from the Mac OS to Linux based systems and of course in Windows. So you can go to docs.microsoft.com slash unus uh, for English translated page slash .NET slash code slash tools to know all about the .NET Core command line interface tools. So if you scroll down in this page, uh, you can see on the CLI commands section, we have some basic commands like new to create a new .NET Core application, then restore to restore all the packages in it, then build to build the project and the list goes on and on and on right so i'll go through these basic commands in my sample demo application later in this video but first let me go to this url which is on github.com slash dot net slash cli and here uh, you can actually see that this common line interface is an open source project so you can forward this project then make some pull requests if you want to contribute in this project of course uh, to get all the features of dotnet core command line interface you have to have this command line interface set up first in your os so you can go to uh, www.microsoft.com slash dot net slash core then go to this tab and download this dotnet core sdk file and install it in your system uh, once it is installed, you can access the .NET Core command line tooling from your command prompt. So I am in my command prompt. So let me create a new um, folder in my desktop. Uh, so I'll say make a directory name .NET CLI, then uh, change uh, your directory to that .NET CLI directory. So I'm in my .NET CLI directory. Now I'm gonna uh, initialize a .NET Core solution file here cause I like to manage all the projects in a solution file. So I'll say .NET new SLN to create a new solution file which will uh, be named after this .NET dash CLI. So once it is done, let me create a new folder called MVC cause I want to uh, create a new ASP.NET Core MVC application. So I'll then go to my MVC directory, right? So make a directory name MVC, then go to that directory. So I'm in my MVC directory. Now I'll have to uh, initialize a MVC application. So to do that I can say .NET new. Uh, one thing is if you type .NET new you can see all the available templates uh, here. Uh, as you can see I have already used this SLN uh, short name after .NET new command to create a solution file. Uh, you have other uh, short names like console to create a console application then class lib to create a class library. Uh, so here I have this MVC short name to create a .NET Core, ASP.NET Core web app. So let me create it, right? So I'll say .NET and then new and MVC. It will create an MVC application in my MVC folder. Then I'll restore all the NuGet packages in this application or should I say in this project. So I'll say uh, please restore all the packages by saying .NET restore and it will restore all the NuGet packages. Now once it is done I can actually uh, build this application right now so to do that I'll say .NET build and it will build the project then I can actually run this project right now so to do that I say .NET run and it will run on uh, port number 5000 of localhost so if i copy this url and go to my okay 
go to my browser and uh, paste it in the address bar as you can see my application is up and running so let me terminate this running process by simply uh, typing control plus C and it is terminated now let me add a new class library in this solution to do that I'll go back to my root folder and then again I'll say dot net new class uh, or first I have to create a folder right so I'll say make a directory name class lib and go to that directory by simply saying cd class lib and now I'll say dot net new class lib and it will create a class library project in this folder uh, again I'll have to restore all the package in this application so once is uh, once all the packages are restored i can actually build a project uh, and the last one is not needed which is dot net run because you can't actually run a class library project right so I'll go a direct or should I stay in this uh, class library project directory and let me add a new NuGet uh, package in this project to do that I can say dot net uh, add a package uh, and please uh, add the package named um, let's say uh, uh, let me install the Microsoft dot ASP net core dot node services package uh, okay so once the package is uh, installed as you can see it is uh, installed in my uh, class library project uh, you can again uh, restore the package if you want but uh, this is not needed cause it is already restored the package but you can uh, delete the install package again by using the dot net remove package command in this case I'll say dot net remove package remove the added node services package from my folder and this package is deleted as you can see uh, so uh, let me uh, add a new testing application right or should I say testing project so I'll go back to my root directory and I'll say dot net then new add a, but first again I'll have to create a new folder make a test directory then go to that test directory and then again I'll say dot net new then I'll say test if I do that it will show me the available uh, test template which is in this case I have the MS test Microsoft testing uh, template testing framework template and the second one is X unit testing framework template so I'll use the Microsoft testing framework so I'll use dot net the new MS test so it is pretty much done then I'll have to restore the packages in this test application once it is restored I can actually run the test in this project so I don't have uh, actually have any test cases set up in this uh, testing project but if you uh, open this project in your favorite ID or test editor you can see I have a class which is called unit test but I don't have any uh, uh, code in this test method one right so if I run now it should pass because I don't have anything so I'll say dot net test to run all the test in this application so it will run all the test and uh, give you the result of uh, one and then the test result has passed uh, there is no failed result and no skipped results so this is how you run test in your testing application uh, I'm pretty much done with all the commands but uh, let me finish by adding these three project in my solutions so I'll go back 
to my root directory and then I'll say dot net then I'll say dot net at dot um, net sln then I'll uh, type the name of the solution file which is in this case dot net cli then add the reference of mbc slash mbc dot cs proch okay i miss spelled something yes i missed uh, dot cl sln extension here and as you can see my mbc application is added to the what should i say added to the solution file right again i can add the class library file uh, like this class library i'll rename it to class library and it is done so this is how you add this uh, add your existing projects to your solution file now let me add a reference of your reference of one of your project to another to do that i can simply say dot net then add the class library reference uh, of class library reference to the mvc project so i'll say mvc slash mvc dot c s proj then uh, reference and then i'll say class lib slash class lib dot c s proj so it is pretty much done uh, one thing I want to show you is uh, let me build the MVC project first to do that I'll go to the MVC uh, folder and I'll say dot uh, net build it will build your project and uh, push all the output file to your bin folder so if you uh, open up this application in your favorite IDE you can actually see in the bin folder I have this um, uh, files of class library dot DLL class lib dot PBD or should I say PDB then the MVC dot DLL uh, all of these references are here listed here to actually clean this uh, up you can write something like dot net then clean and it will clean up your uh, folder uh, this debug folder as you can see we no longer have those files here uh, another um, uh, command is called migrate which is used to migrate your dot uh, net core preview to application to dot net core 1.0 uh, but in this case I'm already using the dot net uh, 1.0 application so I don't have to migrate uh, anything else uh, and that's it uh, that's the basic commands uh, let me see if I have covered all the commands or not so I can go to this file and as you can see I have the new restore build publish uh, yes I missed the publish publish will uh, uh, create a folder called publish where your all the published files will go and you can actually use any FTP application to push all the all, all the changes in this published folder to your remote server uh, let me show you what did I mean right now so uh, if I say I'm already in the MVC project if I say dot net uh, uh, publish it will create a publish folder in my application as you can see here I have a publish folder here and all of the files which are ready to publish in the server so use any FTP and push this folder in your server right and let me go back and this VS state is not so important thingy but you can actually check it right down here 
if you want uh, it's actually run test from the specified files so if you specify some files it will run test against those files and this pack command i don't know what is it uh, it is packs the code into nuget package all oh, right okay uh, that's a nice uh, trick right now okay then i covered the clean migrate solution okay add packages add references remove packages remove references list references yeah list reference is used to see all the uh, reference added to your project so if you really do dot net list then reference uh, you can see all the reference in this application so i have only one reference which is class library.cs proj in this mvc project right so let me go back here and you get delete these are advanced commands so i'll suggest you to go through all of this uh, if you want mm, these are not needed in your day-to-day -day, uh, application development and i think i covered all the basics uh, commands and project modification commands and that's it uh, uh, this is how you use your command line interface to create add restore build publish run test your sp.net core application i think uh, or should i say i guess you like this video and i'll see you in the next video bye bye